Good day, good day. How the honk are you today? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and I've got a treat for you. One of my special treats of all time. I tell you, I am so happy to have this piece, and uh, it is a what a Wednesday. I've been waiting and kicking around to uh, do this, and uh, yeah, it just when my two worlds uh, come together, that is a good day. Good, good day. And what I'm talking about, my two worlds coming together, is my passion for Land Rover and my passion for Tintin. Yes, I was a, a small boy in uh, Hillsboro, Wisconsin, and uh, went to uh, a sale done by the public high school or the uh, yeah public high school library and they sold off their whole collection of adventures of tin tin books uh, uh, well they're what do they call them novelty oh there's a word for them that they call them now graphic novel uh, magazines or cartoon uh, they're thicker uh, than a comic book, but they're graphic novels is what they more or less call them. Anyway, I would show them to you, but I sold them all off. They were all in French and I sold them all off so I could buy more Land Rover stuff. Yeah. And, uh, then I went to the cabinet to check to see if I had, uh, the movie that was done by Steven Spielberg the Adventures of uh, Tintin, the movie that came out. I don't even remember when it came out. Uh, apparently, I lost that in the divorce, so <laughs> I don't even have that. So all I've got is this, and this is one of my pride and joys. Uh, like I said, I, I would buy a dozen of these if I could, but they are uh, really hard to come by. So if you don't know about the adventures of Tintin, uh, he's the back. He's the dude in the back here. We're going to take a look at more of him later. And uh, this is uh, oh, 2005. They put this out, and this is a car that was in his graphic novel, his his uh, catalog. Which actually, I should stop and tell you. The Adventures of Tintin were written by a Belgian cartoonist, um, Hergie, H-E-R-G-E, -E, with a little, you know, a little thing on the E, you know, Hergie. And, uh, well, he, um, by volume 23, he got a Land Rover in him. And I, like I say, I was following Tintin all the way. I almost had the whole collection of, uh, you know, the uh, uh, the the series, the dr graphic novels. But I, I like I say, I it turned my investment to buying more models. Anyway, so the final installment by Hergie uh, in Belgium was uh, serialized in Tintin magazine, and then 1975 to 1960, the September of 75 till uh, April 76. Then they were pu published in collective novels by Casterman in 1976. And uh, this particular cartoon uh, depiction, and you can see his drawing, and I just love his drawing. It's just awesome drawing. I, I fell in love with his uh, artistic drawing. Um, but anyway, um, this is out of the uh, volume number 23, Tintin Telores uh, Picaros. Picaros. I think I'm not, you know, speaking too much good French here. But, <laughs> but back on number, on page 25, we see this here. So anyway, I have not opened this. Okay, I lied. I opened this once, right before the filming. <laughs> it's not taped or anything. And so uh, right before filming, I opened it up <laughs> just to make sure I, I knew what we were getting into. So let's take a look at this. So th I bought this on eBay, obviously, because there's no way I would find something like this, um, uh, you know, here in Wisconsin. And there's some more of his. Uh, so a lot of the uh, Tintin is... Um, 
what is he? He's he's a uh, journalist, and he gets into a lot of trouble with his dog Snowy, and uh, we'll take a look at that. And uh, here it is, and uh, it it does just kind of open right up here, so we're gonna open that up really carefully. But here we go, um, just a really neat kind of uh, you know uh, card that goes into the backdrop of that. Really kind of neat. This is a really heavy model. Let's take a look. It came with a a little, uh, I don't know what you would call that. Well, there it is. There's the, um, yeah, I love that. It's, it's um, well, I, European, it's an A2, A5, A5 um, size uh, volumes. And they're about a quarter inch or, you know, three or four centimeters thick. And obviously a lot of them are in French. And I never did learn French. I was in the Spanish class. But here are some clips of the Land Rover in that um, uh, adventure, and, and help me there, Et Los Picardos, Picardos, I believe that's kind of the way it goes. But anyway, yeah, so anyway, there, there it is. Uh, there's the Land Rover, another picture of it, and then they, they have another picture. These are all the cartoon panels that showed um, that that vehicle in there. And uh, here's another one. And uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Here's uh, the actual vehicle that we we're looking at, Series 2. It's a 109 uh, station wagon, obviously. Series 2, eggs on the grill. Here is part of his uh, etching and drawing uh, of the, uh, cart you know, the cartoon, the adventure of Tintin. Uh, if it's worth your while, I don't know. Spielberg, is, uh, oh, it opens up some more here. Check this out. All right, here you go. Some more information on it. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, check it out. Steven Spielberg, uh, it's been quite a, quite a while ago that he did uh, do the uh, Adventures of Tintin. Um, what was it? Something with the sailboats or something. I can't remember. The unicorn? Uh, something unicorn, I think it was. Boy, I, my, my, I get hit on the head a lot, you know. <laughs> I don't retain a lot of information. But anyway, yeah, so um, very, very, uh, very cool. Uh, it, it, the story goes with Spielberg is uh, he wanted to do the adventures of Tintin before he did Indiana Jones. Yeah, he wanted to do that. But um, the uh, Hergy... Uh, trust because Hergie had passed away by this time, but the trust or whatever or the um, foundation that still had it, they they couldn't get uh, you know the widow uh, couldn't come to uh, agreement on uh, you know letting it happen and and you know all that kind of stuff. So anyway, so uh, there's a interesting little tip fact. There's little Snowy right there. Look at that little naughty dog. He's a fun little loving naughty dog. <laughs> And there's Tintin, he's got his uh, swoosh there, a cow lick up front. That's kind of a telltale sign of a little Tintin there, but uh, uh, that there is uh, Captain Haddock. We're going to take a look here at the model now. So check it out. I would really uh, recommend it, and I'm going to have to find me a, a copy now of the uh, Adventures of Tintin by Steven Spielberg. So just a very heavy model. I believe it's... Uh, the base is uh, metal on metal. Uh, very good depiction here. Uh, no side mirrors, but just a very nice uh, detailed model. I can say I am just so happy. Well, that's got a Series 3 front end on this one here. Yeah, check that out. Huh. Well, there you go. Uh, safari uh, roof on it there with the Alpine windows. All right. Okay, so let's... Uh, yeah, just beautiful details, uh, you know, a, a beautiful color to it. Uh, no opening parts, uh, three characters in there. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love the tread on the tires and that. I, I don't think they really, they are rubber. They, it doesn't really roll all that well. But I'm going to get my little pointer out here and we can see. So you see Mr. Uh, Tin Tin there uh, sitting in the uh, passenger seat. And then he's got Snowy on his uh, on his lap there, and um, 
So then we got a driver here, and that driver is a military driver, just a, uh, you know, not a really important uh, uh, character in the, uh, but then we have, uh, let's see, uh, I believe this guy here is Pablo here, Pablo, and I'm not really sure who Pablo is, but then we have uh, Calculus, uh, he is a uh, goofy, <laughs> goofy scientist friend of Tintin. Yeah, and uh, Calculus. He's uh, uh, <laughs> just a funny guy. Funny guy. He, I, even in in, uh, in French, I can tell that he's a funny guy. I think I did have a couple of English copies. Yeah, you can go to Barnes & Noble's and you can buy uh, English copies of uh, The Adventures of Tintin. And now this block here, that's Captain Haddock, and uh, he's quite, uh, he's uh, uh, Tintin's right-hand man, and you, and uh, towards the end of their adventures, uh, they uh, shack up together in uh, a manor there in France. And then uh, you can see in here, in the middle there is uh, Colonel Alvarez, and uh, just uh, really neat, really neat. So very heavy model. Very heavy model. I, I like to say it's uh, very hard collectible to find. Usually these call for a pretty good penny, and I and I probably did pay a pretty penny for this because uh, I I I didn't have one and I needed one. And I like I said I was a big fan of Tintin for a long time. Uh, matter of fact, I was a fan of Tintin before I was a fan of Land Rovers. Can you believe that? But anyway, uh, there you go. I just love it when my my worlds come together <laughs> full circle so there you go uh, just a just a yeah see there's the copyrights and stuff and I believe hergy is the way uh, you pronounce that so there you go it's a one up Wednesday folks uh, tin tin tell us pick uh, pick uh, pick <laughs> Picaros. <laughs> oh, I suck at French. I can't even get English down, but I'm trying to speak French. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you give me a thumbs up today uh, on one of my special, special uh, uh, Land Rovers in my collection. This is one of my pride and joys. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share because there's more to come for 2020. And uh, you can't miss out. All right, remember, yeah, Snowy, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.